guys and welcome back to my channel so i'm home from my florida trip i had a lot of fun i wish i could have been able to you know stay longer and have more fun but you know responsibilities are first in everything that you do in your life so being that february is coming to an end i thought it would be good to throw out this favorites video just to show you guys a little bit of the items that i've been using throughout the month of february and excuse my nails like i put on press on nails because i didn't have any time to get my nails done before the florida trip so i was just like let me get some press on nails and you guys i haven't used press on nails since i was in like high school like that's the main reason why i like getting my nails done because they stay on for a longer period of time these shits was popping off and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> so I lost the index, I lost a thumb, and I lost my ring finger on this side. So I don't give a damn. I just was like, I have to get this video out because March is literally around the corner. It's gonna be a mixture of makeup products and beauty products because as you know, we're transitioning, trans, 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 transitioning from winter towards spring. And everybody knows, you know, I think sometime in March, I believe, the time is gonna go forward. So it's gonna be shorter days, no, longer days, shorter nights. And in the winter time, it's shorter days, longer nights, I believe, right? And then the, the spring is longer days, shorter nights. I believe I got that right, but yeah. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. So. First, I wanted to start off with some of the the body and hair products that I have. Um, first, everybody knows that watch my videos, you guys know I love to do um, a wash and go. And what a wash and go is, a wash and go method is basically washing your hair, putting in leave-in conditioner, putting um, a nice curling hair product in your hair and just going out the door. And my hair is naturally curly. And it bothers me sometimes because even when I straighten my hair, in order for me to get a nice sleek straight hair style for like two, three weeks, I have to go get my hair done. I've used, I don't know how many products on my hair and my hair is, when I blow dry my hair and straighten it myself, it's good for like one day. And then I'm either sweating and my hair just frizzes up, poofs up. So if you guys have any recommendations on any kind of curling hair products or any frizz products that I can use to help with my hair when I straighten it, please comment them down below because a girl has tried everything. And I feel like my hair just doesn't want me to be great. Like I have to go get it done in order to get a nice sleek straight hairdo that's gonna last me two, three weeks. So let me know. So first, um, this has probably been on the market for at least a couple years now, but this is the Mark Anthony Strictly Curly, well, Strictly Curls Curl Defining Lotion, Humidity Shield, Locks in Elastic Frizz Free Curls, Vitamin E, and Silk Protein. So this is obviously a product of Mark Anthony, and I will say that this has been helping my curls um, stay nice and shiny, nice and bouncy. They don't frizz up too much the next day after it keeps my curls nice because they do have products that help your curls the day after just to give them a little boost. I don't have the kind of hair texture where I can just put a glob on my hand and just run my fingers through. Like I have, you know, thick hair being that I am um, Puerto Rican. So, and like every, every Puerto Rican girl has a different kind of hair texture, but because I'm, you know, mixed, my hair is thicker. So I part my hair in four sections and I try to make sure that the product I put in my hair is evenly distributed throughout my hair. So that way, you know, there's not just curls over here and then this side is looking this way and this, you know, I want everything to be perfect. So that's been helping a lot. So I, I don't know if there's a, how would you say? Like, I don't know if there's a limit of how much you can use, but I know for me personally, you know, I use as much as I know that I need for my hair. You know, sometimes you can overuse a product and I'm learning how to just, you know, go with that method so I don't put too much product on my hair and weigh my hair down. But, you know, 
whatever I think needs to be on my hair, that's what I'm gonna put on my hair. So I do truly recommend this for girls with, you know, naturally curly hair. Like I'm talking about when we get out the shower, finish washing our hair, it already looks like we didn't put product on it. That's the curly hair that I'm talking about. And that's what I have. Like, I really don't have to do too much to it. Like curl activator, I don't need. I just go straight for like leave-in conditioners. And when I do detangle my hair, this doesn't give it that kind of extra hold where you have to pretty much keep going over and over and over your hair. You know, it's nice and silky to the touch and it's not um, a sticky substance. Cause a lot of leave-in conditioners, especially um curling products they have a sticky you know feel to it on your hair so i do recommend this for curly head girls the next thing i'm going to show you guys is something that i love so much so i have extremely dry skin on my face like when i wash my face i have extremely dry skin so um, I found this amazing lotion that I could put on my face that's strictly for my face. There was a point that I was using Nivea, but I felt like Nivea was so tough on my skin. So I feel like when I, cause I like I use Nivea and even before that I was using Pods. And if you, if you know what Pods is, Pods is a face lotion, body lotion. It comes in different kind of, um, colors and different kind of um, ways you can use it but I use pods mostly for face because it was light on my hand and it went on my face didn't make me feel like I had too much um, product on my face so I've been using this baby right here this is the Dove nourishing body care rich nourishment cream and this has been helping me a lot it gives my face moisture something that I really do need because my face gets extremely dry like you know how you go like this and it's like your face feel like it's cracking my face does that when i don't have anything on it like i'm when i'm fresh off you know um washing my face it does that so this has been helping me and it's so good because my face doesn't feel dry throughout the day like some lotions that you put on your face like face lotions they dry your face out and you feel dry you know later on throughout the day but this is 24 hours on your face this shit really does work so if you have dry skin like me and you have pores like me in this area and you wear makeup listen i'm gonna definitely post a video showing you guys my method to my face cleaning because i only do three steps and these three steps have been saving my life i do recommend this face lotion definitely get this lotion for your face if you have dry skin like me because huh. i don't know what it is about the winter time but the winter time just dries your skin out is that just me or you guys have the same problem because it definitely dries my face out. Like I feel like my face is drying out. Like I really do feel like that. The last thing I'm going to show you that's part of the hair and beauty part is this edge control. You guys, I have been using different edge controls throughout the years and I can honestly say this edge control literally saved my life. And I got it from the beauty supply. It blows my mind. I've been searching so long for a nice edge control. And the reason why I have is because I have a lot of flyaways, you know, from getting bangs over the years, you know, cutting my own bangs when my hair was, you know, growing back longer. So I wanted to get an edge control that will let my baby hairs chill the whole day. If you can see here, this is just like, I had, I had, um, the edge control of my hair yesterday but look at how silk my edges still are like i have all of this baby stuff in a way you can see like some of it is still there because i wanted to do my hair quick for this video but it was just like i'm obsessed this is the i don't know how to pronounce this taish taish i don't know but this is the true edge controller plus extreme hold so i got extreme hold i didn't that's the thing with me like when i go get gel i don't look at extreme hold extra hold all the time you know what I'm saying? But as I got older, I noticed, okay, the reason why this gel ain't working is because this is, you know, just hold. I need extra hold. This is the extreme hold and it comes just like this. Um, it's infused with black castor oil and hemp seed oil lasts up to 24 hours. That's a lie. Cause the shit lasts longer than that. 
I've heard rumors that it can mess up your edges, but I feel like if you put gel on your edges and you're scraping your hair with a brush, that's why your edges get messed up. In any situation, if you have product in your hair that's making your hair clamp, like, like clamp, clump up, or if it's making your hair, you know, hard to comb, add some water, you guys. When I have my edge control on and I wanna get it out from my edges, I put water on my hair and my fucking, my, my brush and my comb goes through it just like butter. So that's the key to it, you know, add water. If you wash your hair, you're washing out all of the gel, the products that you've used over the course of two weeks, a week, however long you went from the last time you washed. Add water, that's what I do. I add water and I don't have the problem. My edges are still here, so I don't know. I got a big ass forehead, but my edges are still here. This is cherry scented and it really smells they have different um, different um, fragrances, you know, strawberry, grape, you know, but I kind of got it because it was pink. As you can see, I've been, you could probably see from here, but I've been going in, you know, I haven't hit, I haven't hit the bottom of the container yet, but I'm definitely going to stock up on um, this in, in a different fragrance. So True Edge controller, you need to get that. Moving on to makeup okay so as you guys know from my previous il maquillage video i liked it the foundation but i did have to give it a little bit of time for it to blend in with my skin because it did come on all kind of orangey but when i use the foundation again i kind of like it's growing on me a little bit the only thing i didn't like about the foundation was when it was time to for me to remove my makeup i had to really go through like five makeup wipes to get it off this foundation was kind of more hard to get off the skin as opposed to my favorite foundation. Now, I've been using this foundation for years, okay? I love it. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte Poreless um, Foundation. And the reason why I got matte poreless is because I don't want my makeup to be too oily, so I didn't want to get oil. So it was matte and poreless and poreless because I do have pores on my face and I didn't want them to show through my makeup. So this definitely is your best friend. Now, when it comes to Il Maquillage, I love their makeup for certain, you know, for certain things. But as far as getting it off, like when you have this on, this is coverage for me. When I wipe my makeup off at night, it comes off no problem. This took a couple of wipes. And that's the only flip side about the foundation. But I wanted to pull, I wanted to show you both of them because I've been using them both. I don't mix them. Um, some people mix their foundations because they might not have the right shade. So they they mix two of them to get the perfect foundation that is best for their skin and blends in well with their skin. I definitely recommend the the Maybelline Fit Me. Like that's my go-to makeup. I used to use um, CoverGirl. A while a couple years ago but ever since Maybelline fit me I've really been you know sticking to that foundation and it's it's my go-to so definitely if you ever are near a CVS a Walgreens hell if you're in Sephora go to the Maybelline section and get the fit me foundation because it freaking works so now for my eyebrows you guys know mastering these are a headache there was a time period where I was using makeup um, for my eyes and that was like pomades. And then I stopped using pomades and I went to eye pencils. Well, I'm back to using pomades because I feel like with this, I have complete control over how I want my brows to be. I don't like the pencils because it doesn't put much product like I want it to. So um, I'm using the Knick Knack New York pomade and I actually got this from the drugstore too. Um, it came with a little brush and the only time I use a little brush is to get the precise um, in the beginning of my brows because the tail of your brow, the tail of your brow can be perfect, you know, whatever. But it's always good to make sure this right here in the front is precise. So I use the brush that came with per, for the preciseness of my brows in the beginning, and I use a bigger um, eyeshadow eyebrow brush to get um, to fill in my brow. Because I feel like if I use a smaller brush, I'm going to be here all day trying to fill it in when I can just use um, a bigger um, eyebrow, eyeshadow brush and fill it in. 
So that's what I've been doing, you know? And um, I'm gonna show you guys an updated eyebrow tutorial too. Cause I know I did a how to apply your lashes one. So I wanna do that. But you could tell I've been using it, you know, a lot. But I really do like this. So I do recommend like when it comes to brows, your best bet is pomades. Like they're the best, you know what I'm saying? If you like to use eyebrow pencils, you know, go right ahead, whatever fits you best. But for me personally, pomades, has been helping me a lot, you know? And then obviously concealer to clean everything up. So next I'm gonna show you this face oil that I got from one of my Ipsy bags. I've never used face oil, but I've used it um, today. I use it on my makeup when I did my makeup today. So this was in my Ipsy bag and this is the Hey, hey Honey Acid Vitamin Blend Hydration Enhancer. So as you guys know, my skin is dry. So I decided to try something different and I didn't put primer on my face. I put an oil because I didn't want to put too much product. So I wanted to see, I wanted to do my makeup where put the oil, no um, primer, primer and oil, and then just primer. And I wanted to see how three, how those three faces would look on me. Like I'm always testing things out to make sure that I don't look crazy when I'm outside. This, defi this is definitely, you know, been helping me. Um, skin structure support with vitamin ACE and hemp. I gotta figure out what hemp is because hemp is on everything. So it's just like a, um, you know, you, uh, let me see so you guys can see. So it's just like that, you know, it's one of those that you could put on your face. So I forgot what it was called, a, a bird feeder or something, I don't know what it's called but this is really good for your skin i do recommend oil but like i said if your skin is already oily don't use that everything i have here is mostly for people with dry skin the next thing i'm going to show you is this um setting spray that came in one of my ipsy bags i love this because of the fact that it doesn't have too many chemicals in it it actually has natural herbs from the earth that i was like you don't really need a bunch of chemicals. You just need, you know, plants. So this is the Grace and Stella Rose Spray. And this is the setting spray that I use on my face. Um, this is the Hydrating Facial Spray. And this has, um, well, let me see. It says directions. Mist four or five sprays onto face with eyes closed before or after makeup. Reapply as needed throughout the day. So this has um, essence of rose, like an actual rose and I can smell it when I you know spray it so you can pretty much like this really smells like plants you know so it doesn't have too many chemicals that are on your face because like I said when you're using so many chemicals on your face other chemicals can collide with other chemicals and create a reaction or some kind of rash on your face so it's always good to look at the ingredients that are infused in the items that you're using on your face on your body on your clothes like how many times have you broke out from using the wrong detergent? Like, let's be honest. I really do like this. And sometimes I put it before my makeup, I put it after my makeup, but I made a mistake one time and put it without applying highlighter. I fucking messed around and sprayed it and I'm, I'm trying to put highlighter and it was not going on. I'm like, well, I will never do that again. I'm gonna make sure I add all my makeup on my face before I spray this. Cause <sighs> definitely get this. Um, if you are familiar with the Ipsy community, you probably received this in one of your Ipsy bags. Comment below if you did and let me know what did you like and dislike about this product. For the next items that I have, these, these are, there are three of these here, you know, just so we're clear. So I have really been getting into, um, oops, I have really been getting into eye serums and what that is, is, um, a cream that can go under your eye around your eye and it's been helping me with my dark circles under my eyes as well so i really do you know um like that so these are the three that i use i don't use them all together i use them alternately just so i can get a feel of um just so i can get a feel of the product so um the first one is the it cosmetics hello results and this is wrinkle reducing daily Retinol, retinol, I think that's how you say it, a serum and cream. This is a wrinkle reducing cream. 
and um, I add this um, a little bit around my eyes because um, if there's any way to prevent wrinkles as you get older, why not try it? Why wait until you all wrinkly and looking like, I don't know, whatever. What, what, what looks wrinkly? I really do think it's a way to, you know, slow down the process of wrinkles and everything as you get older. So, you know, I tried this and this actually is really good. All right, so the next one is the Rose Tea Eye Cream and this is Tea Time by Rose New York. So this is what it looks like. Animal test free and vegan, just in case you're wondering. Um, I like this too. Um, this has more of like a gel substance. Like when you look at it, it looks more gel but I have been using this on my eye as well. So I've been using this, you know, also for my eyes. The last one is the Pearl Lease. I think that's how you say it. This is the Pearl Police. I don't know, there's like a little line over the U, so forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's the Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Eye Adore Serum. Hydrates intensively, firms and brightens, decreases puffiness, all skin types sensitive. So this is like a four in one and I use this um, when I do go to bed because I feel like this has more of a working combination when it comes to my eyes. So this has a bunch of, you know, it, it, it helps this, it helps that, helps this. So I figure let that work on my face throughout the night. And then in the morning, you know, the puffiness is gone. You know, I don't wake up with the sleepy, sleepy face. So I do recommend using this at night. You can use it throughout, you know, in the morning, at night, but I prefer to do it at night because like I said, I want everything to be working while I'm sleeping. So that's it. But as far, and the crazy part about it, like I said, all three of these eye creams came from my Ipsy bags. So don't sleep on Ipsy, you guys. Like a lot of these stuff, a lot of these items right here cost you close to like 40 bucks. And as you've seen from my other videos, you apply with Ipsy, you can get items that's small like this, yeah, but it's worth it because it beats you going to the store and spending 40 bucks. So that was pretty much it for my favorites for this month of February. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do use some of the products that I've showed you today, comment below and tell me if you liked it. If you didn't like it, let me know um, if you would even try, if you wanted to try it. I will leave, um, a link down below for all the products if you want to try it out if you want to see reviews you can check you can check the description box as always thank you guys for watching my video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video on my channel until next time you guys i will see you in the next video bye